of 100 degree plus weather here in the Portland area. Yeah, that's right. We officially hit 101 for the high today. Okay. That just happened within the last uh, half hour, but we're still sitting in the triple digits. I mean, really, the valley is just baking right now. The only place of relief is out towards the coast, okay. and it's uh, pretty comfortable out there. Let's start with a live look across the board. You can see Portland sunny skies right now. We're sitting at 100 degrees. Now, once we get out towards the gorge, 102 there for Skamania Lodge. Very hot for you, and even in wine country, Dundee at Stoller Family Estate sitting there. 101, but look at Lincoln City right now. What a beaut, I gotta say. This would be a nice day to uh, take a, 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 a walk along the beach. Jen, didn't you say that you're headed to the beach this weekend? That's where I'm going. I'm kind of jealous right now. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous. Maybe I'll <laughs> yeah, please do. So yeah, that's the place to go right now. 76 right now in Astoria. You can see 102 in Salem. Uh, Eugene hit a record high today. 103 Yakima right now. 106 Pendleton. 102. 95 and Ben, you've actually had a few showers down to in, in your area, and this makes our 21st day uh, this year of 90 degree plus days. That record still back in 2009, 24. I really think we're gonna beat that one. So this is gonna be the warmest. Uh, year there for you. Here's temperatures out west. 100 in Hillsboro, 103 in Tiger right now, 106 earlier in Lake Oswego. We lost five degrees, not bad there for you. 101 in Milwaukee and still sitting at 100 degrees in Battleground. So the plan are for tonight. It's going to be mainly clear, hot through about 7 o'clock, 94 degrees, 85 by 9, and then 11 o'clock, 77 degrees. And keep in mind, we still have that excessive heat warning in effect through 9 o'clock. Once we get past that time period, we're finally going to see some uh, cooler temperatures temperatures making their way in at least tonight versus last night going to go toward the lower 60s for the overnight low. We also have the heat advisory for the area shaded in this orange color. This goes until nine o'clock now out east for the Tri Cities Pendleton area. This will stay until Saturday evening until nine o'clock. So another day of, of some pretty hot temperatures coming in for you tomorrow. In addition to the hot and dry weather, we're talking about the red flag warnings for all the areas shaded in red, and this is a lot of real estate here, uh, mainly for hot and dry conditions for the valley but we're also watching uh, some thunderstorm chances coming in the forecast for tonight, tomorrow night, and also on Sunday. So what you're seeing right now, a little bit of moisture coming in, and we begin some lightning strikes. That's something that we don't want to see, of course, because anything that develops doesn't have a lot of moisture with it. Once the sun sets tonight, these will start to diminish, but we are getting some monsoonal moisture making its way up, and that is going to stay uh, the case through the weekend. So central and eastern Oregon are going to be under the gun for the chance of a few isolated storms from time to time. So tomorrow morning, we'll see some brief clouds along the coast and getting some sunshine in the afternoon. 76 in Seaside, not a bad day in Tillamook, ending up right around 79. Now still tomorrow, the valley going to be hot from Kelso all the way down to Salem, 99 for you, 102 in Corvallis, and McMinnville ending up around 98 degrees. We'll stay most Mostly sunny tomorrow, but again, the further south you get, we have the better chances of some pop up storms developing. So Burns 101 tomorrow, 104 in Pendleton, and Ben, you do have the chance of an isolated storm coming in later tomorrow with a high near 98. Dry and hot through the gorge with temperatures in the triple digits. The government camp ending up right around 93. So west side tomorrow, about a 100 for Beaverton, also Tiger and Lake Oswego. Going to go a little bit cooler for tomorrow, 96 for Portland, 97 in Gresham, and Oregon City ending up right around 98 degrees. Still mid temper 90s. The further north you get up towards Salmon Creek. So again, the coastal forecast for this weekend looking pretty good. Mid to upper 70s both days. Brief morning clouds ending up with some sunshine in the afternoon. The valley still hot both days with temperatures in the 90s. Triple digits on Saturday for the gorge. Upper 90s on Sunday. A little breezy too. The Cascade forecast going to throw that storm chance in there for you on Sunday. Also the central and eastern state are a part of the state going to have that chance for an isolated storm or two. So here's the trend of the seven day forecast. Finally some relief coming in. Lower 80s by the weekend. Thursday, uh, some of the models trying to indicate maybe a few sprinkles trying to uh, happen the further north you get into parts of Washington. So once we get up maybe towards Kelso, Chehalis, and even up towards uh, Seattle. So you can track that too. And the temperature trends on our uh, weather app. And of course, you can go uh, and download this. It's PDX weather app. You can see all the latest updates on that. We always talk how our bodies acclimate to this weather. So here we're used to this 100 degree plus weather. When that 83 hits <laughs> it's good. next week, it's going to feel like, oh, winter's here. Right. You know? Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Are you going to have your uh, jacket on, yeah. Jennifer? Where? Because you get cold easily. Right? Oh, yeah. We already had, yeah, we already had this yeah, conversation. We found right? that out. Yeah, I wear a zip-up most times. It's good to layer here. So. We'll yeah. be in short sleeve shirts. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs>